Hey there guys, it's Mr. Tanuki here. Welcome back to a super amazing episode of Let's Play Super Mario 3D World. On this episode, we are going to be using 50 green stars, which is half of what we have at the moment, which is really super impressive actually, to go in to the World 4 castle. I'm pretty much just excited to see what it is, because I think this is... No, this is the second castle that's been locked. So this is called Lava Rock Lair, which I'm a bit uh, sceptical about because I'm not very good with lava levels. Also, let me just show this. That's the wrong button. Let me just show this while I have the opportunity. I actually went back and I got every single flag. We haven't missed anything but a flag in this world, so I'm very happy with that. This world has been very easy to 100%. Uh, as you can see, it's not it's not had many levels. Like, I think World 3 had the most... Yeah, World 3 definitely had the most levels. So, I'm looking forward to World 5, because it's probably... Pardon me. Probably going to have a lot more. Now, as we go into this level, um, I want to say... Really enjoyed this world. Probably one of my favourite worlds. Uh, a bit difficult, but that's not a bad thing. I'm actually going to choose my character. I'm going to choose Luigi. Just because I know there's probably going to be a lot of jumping. And Luigi is definitely going to be able to do that. I'm not sure what the boss is going to entail... The last boss we had was actually Bowser, so that means that this boss is actually going to be uh, a Koop. No, it won't be a Koopaling. It's going to be um, Boom Boom. That's the name. Boom Boom. Boom Boom. Oh, I see what we have to do here. So it seems like one just goes on there and the other just goes on here, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, is that a secret or is this where we have to go? I think, yeah, this is a secret because that leads to a green star. Uh, I do want to apologise if you hear any, like, scratching and stuff in the background. My cat's actually in the room at the moment. Like, the way I, ha I usually, like, close the door. Um, well, actually, the whole time I've recorded Super Mario 3D World, like, the whole Let's Play, I've not really closed my door. Um, just because, like, as you guys know, I'm moving. So, like, it's kind of difficult to lock him out and I wouldn't really want to anyway. What is going on? It's weird how you can't see him. I'm surprised that that pipe hasn't burnt. Okay, we can't go back. So we've got to make 100% sure we've got everything. This is definitely a bonus room. Because this can't be where we go. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Yeah, and then that. Nice one. So you could get potentially screwed over in there if not quick enough. Because the, the, uh, the green star actually has a timer for when it appears. And I think it takes like a second to appear. So you could definitely get screwed over on that one. Okay, I'm just going to bring him with... Oh, do you know what? I bet... Okay! Alright. There wasn't a midpoint, was there? No, there wasn't a midpoint. But we know what we need to do. So the first one, we just... We can jump on him, right? Yeah, we can. We can jump on him. So that's not too difficult. Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you guys are having an amazing day. <laughs> Today. <laughs> of all days. Death Day, they call it in my home country of England. <laughs> Death Day is basically every day in England. Um, I've screwed myself. Actually, I am going to die anyway. We were doing so well. Yeah, can't even kill myself properly. We were doing really well, but I am going to die just for the reason that we don't have a power-up. And it will be very difficult to go through this. Because whenever we get to a block that's going to contain a power-up, we're just going to get a mushroom instead. So it's very difficult to go through this without a power-up. Uh, so I am actually going to end up killing these guys first. Uh, yes, I did only just figure out that if you stomp on top of them, they do all die. I have to be very careful. And also because I don't think this guy respawns. If we shoot from like here, maybe. Yeah, there we go. Then fire that down. And then, here we go! Or Luigi should say, let's go! Yeah, because yeah, Luigi's got a really croaky voice, I think. Okay, oh my god, how the hell did we make that? I don't know. Um, okay, nice one. Oh my god, that was a nice one. No idea how the hell we made that. We can't even do it anyway. I guess we're supposed to probably use that guy to like destroy the blocks. But we kind of just walked into them anyway. That made it a lot easier. And we got a cat suit now. Okay, so we definitely have to go through here. And that ma this actually makes this whole thing a lot quicker. And also, these guys have a time of when they can appear as well. So that makes that quite difficult. But it's easier to throw them at corners. Because if you throw them in the middle, he can still kind of roll off. But if you throw him in the corner, he'll hit the corner. So it just makes it a bit easier to, uh, to do it. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I really, really thought... Okay, can we actually make it? Yes, nice one. Yeah. Hey, girl. Okay. Spare cat suit, not a bad idea. Let's just 
destroy that. Okay. Okay, right. Nothing else we can get. Oh my god, we've got all of the the green stars. We just need a stamp. Which is super impressive. I'm happy with that. Got to avoid... Okay, we didn't get the stamp. Where could the stamp have been? Hmm. I don't know where the stamp could have been. Oh, you know what? I reckon it was up on one of the walls. I 100% think it was on one of the walls. Yeah, that's what I think. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I was trying to kind of destroy them all, but I think the way you've got to do it is, like, throw them at him. Because, obviously, they're the only things that are going to be as hard as him. Like, Luigi's claws and his fists aren't going to be anywhere near as hard as something that's... Like, I don't even know what I'm explaining. I'm trying to be all sciencey. Basically, you can only destroy him with something that's as hard as him or harder. So, the only thing that would be as hard as him or harder would be his own, like, kind. You know? Just makes sense, really, doesn't it? Can we destroy it from here? No, we can't. Makes it very difficult when he starts spinning around. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Like a regular baby, right round, right round. Don't chase me, baby. I want to live, want to live, baby, want to live, babe. There we go. Not too difficult, actually. And then he expands into a supernova. It would have been awesome if we actually got the stamp, like, doing that. I think that would have been a good idea. I'm hoping the stamp's going to be around here somewhere. If not, I am actually going to head into the level again and try and get the stamp and I'll skip to whenever I find it. Get these coins. Even though we don't really need it because we could just literally just climb up the pole. But I want to see if we can cat dive into it. There we go. Well, we, we couldn't cat dive into it, but we're very close. This is a ginger fairy. I'm starting to figure out, I think all the fairies match their worlds, don't they? The second one was blonde, I'm pretty sure. Which was like a deserty colour. And this one's like ginger, because that's like a rocky colour. And the first one was green, I'm pretty sure, which is like a grassy colour. And the third one, I think, was blue, which is an icy colour. I'm excited to see what the next world entails. I feel like it'll be a rainbow or cloud world or something. What are you doing, fairy? What are you doing? Are you a cutie? Are you a cute, cute girl? Yes, you are. You're the cutest girl ever. Okay. Thanks for your construction work. Don't You can't expect me to pay you, really. Okay, guys. I am going to be heading back into this level just to get the stamp. Because I want to leave this world 100%ed. Um, and then I'll, I'm going to skip to whenever I find the stamp. Just so you guys know where it is. Okay, yeah. It was up here. That's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> now I just have to complete the world all over again. <laughs> Well, at least I know that it's there. So I just have to, like, rush through now because I don't have to bother about collecting anything else. But I had a feeling it would be there. And the whole reason I thought of it is because I kind of, like... I figured out it would be similar to one of the green stars in Super Mario Galaxy 2. Because in one of the boss levels, there's a green star on top of the actual gate. So you have to, like, somersault on top to actually get it. So it kind of reminded me of that, which is what made me think of it. Anyway, this is the official end of the episode. So next episode, guys, we are going to be heading in to World 5. Uh, or unless, like, our path gets blocked again, which would be kind of sucky. So I hope it doesn't. Okay. Now we just have to avoid this guy. Anyway, see you all next episode. Have an amazing day and goodbye.